Okay, as you can see, there's a 120 count muslin. I guess it shows I used a white fabric. Uh, let's see, this is it right here. It says wide perm press muslin, 100% cotton. It's 118 to 120 inches. And uh, let me take it out. Bring it over here and set it on their table and I'll show it to you quick. When it's folded like this, you know, it's not obviously real transparent, but there's there's one fold right here. Now, I'll hold this up to the light for everybody to be able to see, hopefully. As you can see, you can kind of see the lights through the material. You know, that's the material edge right there. You can see the lights through it. As you can see, there's another one here. And if you look real close, well, maybe you can't see it with the lighting here, but this is the white one here. They've also got an ivory colored one as well. So, if you can see, that one's, you know, the one on the left is white, the one on the right is ivory. But anyway, um, it's a wide perm press muslin as well. It says 100% cotton unbleached, 118 to 120 inches, um, 623. So it's 623 a yard. Uh, something else I was going to show everybody was black tape that I ended up using. Uh, it's right here. It's the duct tape. You can see it's black in color. Over here, they've got all kinds of colors. This ends up being 337. Um, this only has, what is it, 20 yards, which ends up being 60 feet. So I ended up using, I believe, approximately two, two, black, two black tapes per uh, projector screen. So you're going to need roughly four if you do two of them. All right, I'm here at Menards, and I was just going to show everybody the bolts that I ended up using for my project. Um, the quarter inch by 20 by three and a half inch uh, bolts, they are $1.44. If you can find them, you want to look for the ones, at least that's what I did, the ones that have the full threads all the way through the bolt versus these that, uh, as you can see, they don't have the threads all the way through. Not a big deal. Um, the threads are fine. Uh, if they're not all the way through, they still work. Anyway, that's those. And then over here are the lock washers, quarter inch. Those are $1.18, and then the quarter inch nuts right here, those are $1.18 as well. Total comes out to be $5.24. Now what I did... I bought what is called top rail posts um, for uh, fencing. And as you can see, if you look really close here, um, you can see the one end is actually a little narrower, so you can put that inside the other end. Now these end up being 10 and a half feet, 10 foot 6 inches, 10 foot 5 inches, something, something like that. So what I'm going to do is cut, I'm going to cut these in half and then stick the one end in the, in the other. And the reason I'm going to do that is to cut them down to 5 feet so they can be portable. Um, that way I can fit them inside my car, my vehicle, whatever. Uh, the only thing that's a bummer is I don't have a case for them, so the easiest thing to do would be to buy some sort of duffel bag that's approximately five foot long. Uh, maybe even uh, a bag that you would get for your typical tripod stands here. That's you know, a little bit shorter than what I would probably need, but anyway, you could probably find one. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to make them 10 foot by 10 foot. Uh, now, ideally, uh, with the screen being low to the ground, and then of course your, your seating height from from about sitting level um, what you're gonna view if you're sitting down from this height you're gonna need the screen to be at least four feet off the ground more than likely so I'm gonna end up with about a six foot by ten foot viewing area um, and the reality is I'm probably gonna make it five and a half feet you're gonna want to be up a little bit so that you can get above people's heads up so you can see I got my uh, two projectors um, one of them here I'll grab it out here. 
<laughs> this projector here is called a Proxima 6850. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's fairly large. Um, this is my hand. It's it's a it's a fairly decent sized projector. It's uh, it's rated at 1800 lumens. Um, and if you want to compare it to another projector that I have here, it's an Acer. As you can see, size wise, um, you know that that Acer is a lot smaller. Um, lumens wise, it's the Acer is actually a little brighter. It's a little newer. This Proxima projector um, is about 15, I think, or 20 years old. And when it was uh, purchased new, I think the retail price was $18,000. Yes, that's correct, $18,000. Um, the cool thing about it is it actually has picture-in-picture -picture capabilities. Um, even though I've never used that, um, I'll show you the inputs here on the side. It's got all kinds of inputs. As you'll see here, got your S video, composite, uh, audio in and out, USB if you want, and then it's got audio in, audio out there as well. Uh, it's got your VGA in and your uh, VGA out if you want to, um, uh, what should I say, loop or if you want to connect this to another one, you can just um, automatically do that. And then you've got the number two here. Yep, you can see my scratches. Number two here, uh, that's your picture in picture if you're going to do a second input, obviously. And uh, that's about it. You know, it's your standard projector. It's just, it's pretty big. Um, I got very lucky on this. I ended up picking this up for, I think, $150. And I believe the bulb life in it, um, there's only about 10 or 15% of it used. So I've got a lot of bulb life left. So, I'm going to show you guys the first one here. As you can see, it's going to go all the way up. But here are the legs. Now, as you'll see, I've got the front ones even, or the front of the legs even, and then the back goes back there. Those are about five feet long. And then this bar going down here, um, as you can see, is uh, that's about five feet long as well, too. Um, and then as I was telling you from the front, I've got those braces, too, on the, the corners, as you'll see there. And then here's the, the framework right there. And then there's the other ones. <laughs> now, so to display a screen this size, you need a fairly long throw. So my projectors are going to have to go back there a ways. But this is about, about where it will sit. And then as you can see, when we sit down, um, you know, here's my, my sight. It's, it's about, about even with that, that bar, um, the bottom bar there. And, uh, wow, that's going to be a big screen, I'll tell you what. <laughs> When that gets done, it's going to be huge. This is uh, the screen from far away so far. I'd say I'm about, oh, I don't know, 40 feet away or so. So anyway, now if I'm sitting back further away, um, you know, this is my line of sight. As you can see, the, the bottom is just coming up to the edge of the tables, which would mean that seeing over someone's head is going to actually hit um, if I can point it out straight, just over that bar. So we're probably not going to see anything down here, but from about here up, you should see some. So if you look where that wall is, about there, maybe a little higher, where that where that border on that wall is, right, right here. Um, that's probably where we're going to see. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll see. To, uh, turn on all the lights, so could see what a video looks like with all the lights on and I was going to talk to you about how important it is lighting uh, with video projectors and, uh, and in my case I used a, a rear projection type of uh, screen and, and a projector. Um, you'll notice uh, when I go around I'm going to also turn all the lights down or at least turn some of the lights down and you'll see what will happen and the effect it will have on the lighting. Now you'll, you'll hear Feel Good from Gorillaz and Obsessed by Mariah Carey a lot of times throughout this video, if I have enough time. Uh, I've got about 14 minutes. Um, 
And the reason I use those two videos is I just stumbled across them as, as far as color and I can help adjust color. The one thing that you end up doing is you take your computer monitor if you can and put it out to where you can see the color of a video so you can match the color of your uh, computer monitor to, to the color and what of you'll the see is, uh, You'll see the videos and this is Mariah Carey Obsessed. And you can see it, you can't really see it that well. That's one screen. And then I'm gonna pan over here. My speakers, you'll see there. And then here is, here's the other screen. And that's kind of the corner set up there. This is kind of the, now the awards so, uh, presentation was right there. It was right in front. There was a, a podium stage just uh, right in this area here. And um, so anyway, the idea was that we'd have the awards presented on both screens, as you can see here. If you look at it here, you'll, you'll notice that there's a little gap from my tube frame right there as you can see to, uh, to the screen material. My frame ended up being about 122 inches or so. There's another gap there on that side. 122 inches um, wide, so it was about two inches short. Now, I wanted it a little bit wider and the material actually worked out perfectly so if I need to stretch it, um, it will stretch. And as it stretches, it makes the screen flat, as you can see here. Now you're also gonna look up right here. You can see there's a little wrinkle there. Well, I've got that ladder there because what I was gonna do is go up and tape that quick. And I'm gonna do that right now. Fire to inspire involvement and increase strategic direction from the chamber board, committees, and the community. And, uh, you know, any success that we've had, it's a tribute to all our associates at County Fair and what a job that they've done and our well customers. And we thank the community of Mitchell and the other communities that we serve uh, for their uh, support these 25 years. Now let's go ahead and uh, bring Jeff Crawl up to the stage and uh, you all over Jeff as the president of the Mitchell Area Development Corporation. Without 